Dr. Seuss's birthday for you guys, and and revisiting these things lights me up. Um, there's something about children's literature that isn't always for children. Um, I grew up with uh, Dr. Seuss, and uh, my dad was kind of a, a Horton. He he was more of a, I was he was kind of a big gentle, and he tucked me into his his arm, and it felt like I was being wrapped up in Horton's angel wing ears. And he would say, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant, and elephant's faithful 100%. And he read the lines a million gajillion times, and so he didn't have to read them off the page, and he'd look at me, and I knew that he was talking to me. And that resonated really deep in my heart. But uh, as time went on, life happened, as it usually does, and uh, he started to morph into the Grinch. Um, I, uh, my mom was diagnosed with cancer, and as she got sicker, he got grinchier, and when she passed away, the evolution was complete, and he just wanted to be with her. And he, um, he almost succeeded. He became a very, like, raging alcoholic, completely and totally reclusive. It was very different from the dad I grew up with. Um, but I came home from California. I lived in LA for many years. I came home from California to help him uh, when he was diagnosed. And he would ask me about church and I got to see his evolution from Horton to Grinch to seeing his heart grow three sizes. I know why my dad's heart grew three sizes and I think we might be able to be, I, whenever I read the Grinch I always think of my dad and his transformation. So. I'm not going to hold up the pictures, you're going to have to just watch me, um, but uh, I know that these pictures are in your head and they're in my heart, so let's read The Grinch. I'm going to let Dr. Seuss do the talking. Every Who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch who lived just north of Whoville did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why, we don't know quite the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm, lighted windows below in the town. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now hanging a lit mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow's Christmas, it's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers, nervously drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knew, all the Who girls and boys would wake bright and early. They'd rush for their toys and then, oh, the noise. Oh, the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing he hated, the noise, 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 noise. Then the Who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast <laughs> 